In this video, we will learn how to enter data in Excel. Companies sell products and or services. Companies store the list of their products and other related information in databases. Large corporations may use more sophisticated and advanced databases, but small to medium companies may use Excel to do that. Now, let us create such a list of products in Excel. We're going to be typing that information in this worksheet. Our example scenario is an imaginary company called Inzara Bookstore, which buys books from wholesalers and then sells them to retail customers. The concepts that we're going to understand and learn here apply to any company selling a list of products or services. When you open Excel, by default, the active cell is the cell A1, as indicated in this name box. And you can see the column letter A and the row number one are highlighted. Since the cell A1 is already active, whatever I'm going to type is going to be entered into this cell A1. Before we start entering, let's look at the bar here at the bottom which says ready. We are in the ready mode now. So as soon as I start typing, you can see that it enters into the enter mode. As you can see here now, it is entered into the enter mode. What that means is that now you are entering information into the cell in this worksheet. And I'm still typing. And as soon as I finish typing the name of the book, one thing you have to remember is that this information is still not stored in cell A1. Because I'm still in the enter mode, because I'm still typing information, I have not stored this information yet. I'm going to hit the enter key. And as soon as I do that, you can see that now Excel is back to the ready mode, which means the information that I typed in cell A1 is stored in cell A1. The entire workbook has not been saved, but this cell now has the information, the discovery of India. And as you can see here, the name of this book is long. So the name seems to go from cell A1 to B1 and also a little bit into C1. But remember that this information is only within cell A1. We will talk more about this in a few minutes. Let's continue entering the information of the next book. So let's say uh, before I hit the enter key again, if this is not the information that I wanted to enter, it's easy. I can just hit escape and Excel returns back to the empty cell. And if I want to type it again, I can type Okay, hit enter again. Now I am in cell A3 as indicated in the name box here. And I'm going to type glimpses of world history, hit enter. A guide to health, wings of fire. Now I am in cell A6 now, and let's just start with just five books for now.